How you doing? John Gatt here again. As I said in my unboxing video, I wanted to have a look at a few games on the OQO. For those of you who really don't understand the size of it, that's a PSP, that's the OQO. So it gives you an idea of the size difference. Um, the game I'm going to actually play here today is World of Warcraft. Now, uh, I know there's another video out there on the net at the moment that says you need some sort of interface mods, but um, what he may not have realised that in the actual control panel on World of Warcraft, you, there's the ability to have it in Windows mode and also widescreen resolution. So that's what I've done. I've used no interface mods and or whatever else to get World of Warcraft to work on this. It basically booted up straight away. I copied my, my main file from my main computer over to this uh, to this computer, saved me downloading all the patches and all that, but it's running Windows XP, this particular uh, unit I'm using, so I don't need any of the, the mods to, uh, or don't need to change anything to allow for downloads and whatever else. Um, when I first started it up, the resolution was at like 1280 by 1024. I could see everything on the screen, but it was too small. So what I've done, I've dropped down the resolution in game from 1280 by 1024 right down to, um, was it 1000 by 600 and it's a perfect resolution for this particular monitor so let's start it up anyway and have a look so shortcut on a desktop world of warcraft i'm using the uh, the actual launcher from the game i'll turn around while i put in my password though hang on a second let's just get it started so you see what's going on so i'm just uh, connected to my wireless network here uh, within the house but I also have uh, NextG uh, Telstra's mobile network, which will allow me to uh, to connect anywhere. So if you're traveling into the city or whatever else, and and you've got like a, a, a mobile uh, internet connection, you can actually play World of Warcraft on a train on the way to work. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, hang on a second, let's type in my password here. Okay, so we've got that in, entered. Now, as you can see, everything on the screen is there. There's no cutting off from the top or bottom. Uh, that's my level 70 Hunter, uh, which I'm about to log into. Uh, so we'll just enter world here. Um, I'll just show you what the guy looks like. Um, movements, not perfect, but it's it's not bad. I know people are playing, uh, playing this game on lowest specs PCs, that's for sure. So, uh, that gives you an idea of what the, the resolution is like. It's actually a widescreen monitor. As you can see, the, the, the bitmap in your image is just a square. It's cut off either sides, so it, it gives you an idea. But when you load into the game, I've set it in into widescreen, so it'll actually fill up the whole screen. I'm in uh, Sathra City here, which is the, the main, it's a main city in Outlands. Um, I'm, I am running a couple of mods. I copied them over from my, from my main PC. It's this kill threat meter and, uh, and damage meter for, for when I'm in dungeons and everything else. You can see all the interface, you can see my health bar up the top there, you can see the mini-map up there, I've got some mail, I've just been selling a whole heap of stuff trying to get my epic mount. Um, my whole user bar, fit, my whole interface bar is, is fit, fits along the bottom of the screen there. I can zoom in and out to my character using this, this scroll bar on the side of the, the screen here. As you can see it's kind of, it's, it's kind of okay, it's not great, but um, the the Interface to you know the key interface is probably going to be the most complicated because I'm doing everything via thumbs and and I'm kind of you know, not very good with my thumbs so so uh, what we'll do here um, is this go up to the mailbox check my email so just going up to the in-game e uh, mailbox here I've uh, been selling some stuff on. Uh, on the auction house and primal airs and all which I uh, which I've uh, looted collect my money for that um, probably the perfect thing with the OQO and World of Warcraft will be doing things like browsing the auction house and whatever else but you can actually go and um, and kill stuff and whatever else which I did before which is kinda kinda nifty the biggest problem I've actually got I'm gonna hop on my flying mount here the biggest problem I've actually got is controlling the flying mount it's actually flight control so everything's kinda upside down so I'll launch into the into air. Just using the the, the uh, space bar here to uh, to go up. Turn around. Um, if I hit the M key and have a look at the map, uh, it gives me an idea where I am in the city and which way I have to go. So pretty much, they're going to go straight ahead. Go up a bit higher.
Um, is there a num lock on this? If uh, I could find num lock on the actual keypad here, um, it would auto run me. But um, yeah, I can't see num lock on the keyboard. I could set a key for auto run anyway, and I'll set that up later anyway. That's uh, that's just something I, I've got to do. Um, the other other thing I might want to do is uh, is look at the key speed. So um, movement's a little bit fast, and also controlling flight control with uh, uh, with the actual mouse is kind of funky because as I said it's, it's flight mode so if I if I do that ups down downs up some people like that inverted mouse I don't but um, you know it's a uh, it's very usable so I've flown into uh, Nagrad here which is like a it's a pretty place in um, in World of Warcraft we it's like level f uh, 65 to 70 stuff so what we'll do now is uh, is go down there and have a look and see if there's something to kill down there. Yeah, I suppose it's just a matter of getting used to the interface, um, which I'm definitely not used to at the moment. So I've landed on the ground. I'm going to put my bird away. Look around here, see where I have to go. Up here, I will get my pet out. Target my target, and stick my pet onto my target. Shoot a couple of arrows at it. And, uh, and as you can see, combat is... is I wouldn't do a dungeon <laughs> using the OQO, but it is possible. You can defend yourself and, and whatever else. I wouldn't go dueling. It's a, it's it's not it's not entirely fast, but it's not entirely slow either. Um, I have, as, as I said, I think I've said it. Um, uh, I've seen worse, but um, my issue here that I'm having is is actually uh, speed of the uh, the keyboard and all movements. I've got to get used to that. Um, and so I'll go up, loop my guy up here. I just killed. And also, um, it's kind of kind of odd looking at the um, the size of the screen, you, the depth, I've got to get used to the depth, so uh, I've just looted, looted the, uh, the little rand looking thing.